Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Flinch Squad Circuit. We are here in the Moon Series and in today's episode we're going to be covering all the matches from Round 7. I hope you've been enjoying the circuit so far. If you've missed any of the previous weeks you would like to go back and check those out. I'll link a card up here for you and you can check out all of the player action that we've had so far in this Moon Series circuit. So getting into today's episode, like I say we are into Round 7 so without further ado let's go over and take a look at the pairings for this week. So we can see that we've got Hectic versus Johnny, Will versus Poker Marty, Krim versus Bebum, Stu versus Pinko, Yorine versus Cenevis, Ace, Amagi versus Shade, Alex versus Worm's Eye, and Purple versus Luigi. So we have some incredible games lined up for us this week. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you do, remember to drop a like down below. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these episodes when they do drop, as well as our daily VGC battle series, our guides and our stream uploads and everything else in between of course but without further ado let's kick off today's episode with two players that are doing so well in this circuit hectic versus johnny so here we go we're getting straight into the matches today you're gonna see hectic on the top of your screen johnny on the bottom and johnny leading off with that tapa coco eveltal hectic leading off with the tornadoes kyoga that formidable lead that we've seen so much of in the vgc 19 season so we're gonna see the electric terrain activate after the rain so indicating that kyoga is scoffed on hectic side of the field you're gonna see eveltal just protect normally assault vest there and a rain dance coming out from that tornado as we see a water spout come out from the Kyogre, not enough to take down the Tapu Koko as it survives and is able to get off an electric web just to reduce the speed on the hectic side of the field. So we're going to see the Kyogre now switch out for the Serena and preserve that for later on as we see a Tailwind set up from this Tornado's Volt Switch coming into that Kyogre slot from the Tapu Koko. Going to just keep that back for later on as we see the Groudon now hit the field. For Johnny, as a Tailwind is now set up for the Veltal, now Rain Dance coming out from this Tornado, is getting rid of that Sun that the Groudon's brought. I'm going to see a knockoff from the Veltal into that Serena, doing so much damage, knocking off an Aya Papa Berry as the Groudon finishes up with a double up into that slot with a Fire Punch, knocking it out. But paving the way for Hectic to get this Kyogre back onto the field now as he switches out the Groudon, brings the Tapu Koko in for Johnny and a Sucker Punch coming into that Tornado. It's going to be enough to pick up the knockout there. Kyogre free to throw out an Origin Pulse and it will be enough to take down Tapu Koko, not enough to take down the Evelto though. Now Xerneas coming in for Hectic as we see Incineroar hit the field for Johnny. So the Fairy Aura activating and that Intimidate onto both these special attackers, not so useful, but Fake Out support is very useful. Going to see that into the Xerneas here and a Sucker Punch into that Kyogre and just barely hangs on. Origin Pulse now coming out and picking up the knockout on both targets. You've got to think the Kregel hit didn't really matter too much on that Incineroar, but big knockout there for Hectic taking down that eat Velto for Johnny. So we're going to see the Groudon now come in for Johnny as he does bring the sun over right that rain once again. The Kyogre not on very good terms here. Throwing out an Origin Pulse. Not going to be enough damage though. Taking it down to half health as a Geomancy now set up from Hectic's side of the field. Going to activate that Power Herb. One turn boost. Special attack, special defense and speed becoming very dominant. You're going to see probably a Plexibus Blades come out here from the Groudon. It is going to connect with both targets. Take down the Kyogre. Take the Xenius down to half health but you've got to think now. The Groudon's not really got a leg to stand on as this Geomancy Xerneas throws out a Moonblast and picks up game one for Hectic. So a big win there for him kicking off in today's episode. We're going to go straight into game two, seeing that we are challenging Hectic once again. Johnny leading off this time with the Porygon Z and Incineroar now with the Serena and the Xerneas coming out for Hectic. Going to have that Queenly Majesty ability on the Serena, protecting any fake out potential there as we see just a helping hand from the Xerneas into that Xerneas from the Serena. Moonblast into the Porygon Z. Going to pick up the knockout straight away. Quick knockout there as we see a knockoff from this Incineroar into that Serena. Going to knock off its berry again. Paving the way now for Groudon to hit the field for Johnny. He's going to be very threatening with this Precipus Blades action coming out here from this. We're going to see the Xerneas protect on Hectic's side of the field. No attack though and just a substitute set up from this Groudon as a U-turn comes out from the Serena. Going to pivot out and bring in the Kyogre. Start and get the momentum going for Hectic here with that rain coming onto the field. Fleblitz just into that protect on the Xerneas now. We're going to see a water spout fired off and pick up the knockout onto this Incineroar on Johnny's side of the field and break that substitute on the Groudon. Disappearing now as G Xerneas goes for that Geomancy, getting that one turn boost once again. We saw what happened in game one. Once the Xerneas was set up, it didn't leave Johnny much room to come back. So if it will be the same again here, it does have Groudon in a little bit of a better position, but it is threatened into this next turn. 
with that Kyogre and its Scarf and the Rain Boost on the side of the field. I'm gonna see Veltal now hit the field for Johnny. Kyogre gonna switch out for the threat of that Sucker Punch coming in from the Veltal. I see Groudon protect now just to avoid any water spout damage as a Moonblast comes into the Veltal, picking up the knockout and leaving Groudon all by its lonely self just to take a Moonblast now and Hectic cleaning up pretty easily to take game one in today's match. We're going into our next one now, Pinko versus Stu. This is going to be great this match because both players have had an outstanding start to the season and whoever will win will creep even closer to the top of this leaderboard. We're going to see Pinko lead out with the Acelgo, Tapu Lele and the Kyogre and Ludicolo come out for Stu. We're going to see that Psychic Seed activate on the Acelgo, doubling its speed. We're going to see a Protect from the Tapu Lele here and an Acid Spray into that Kyogre now as we see a Waterium Z fight out from this Ludicolo. Where is it going to be into? You've got to think maybe the Acelgo just to get rid of it. But it could be into the Tapu Lele as well, and it is into that slot. But behind the Protect, it's not going to be doing too much damage. And we are going to see a Water Spout followed up from this Kyogre now. Going to be enough to take down this... Ooh, it's not quite enough to take down the Acelgo actually hanging on here. So you see Ludicolo now switch out for the ho -Oh on Stu's side of the field. Going to see another Acid Spray, but this time into the ho -Oh now. So you see this Tapu Lele, it is going to attack this turn, but taken down before it can attack with a Water Spout from this Kyogre. So picking up some big momentum here. It's Kyogre coming out for Pinko with this Xerneas. So Kyogre kind of checking the hot on Stu's side of the field, but Ludicolo lurking in the back, eager to come in and really start putting on more pressure. We're going to see another Water Spout from this Kyogre on Stu's end. An Origin Pulse come out, it does miss the Kyogre, hits the Ludicolo for minimal damage. The Geomancy now coming out from this Xerneas. You've got to remember that the Psychic Terrain is active, so no fake outs coming out from Stu's side of the field, bringing the Ludicolo this turn. We are going to see this one turn boost now. Xerneas being very threatening, going to throw out a Dazzling Gleam, pick up a knockout on both targets. That's a huge turn for Pinko here, pulling himself right back into this game. Origin Pulse not going to hit anything because both targets went down. Ho oh now going to hit the field, and Ferrothorn coming out for Stu, and things just looked so difficult now for Pinko to clean up. We're going to see a Moonblast into that slot, and an Origin Pulse come out. It does avoid the Ho oh that is devastating, not enough to pick up the KO onto the Ferrothorn as a Brave Bird coming out from this Ho oh taking the Kyogre down to 8 HP with a Leech Seed now coming into that slot. The rain does stop and now the Ferrothorn in a prime position to kind of clean up after the Kyogre goes down to Leech Seed damage and the Xerneas all by itself. Not going to be able to do much damage. Dazzling Gleam coming out of both targets, both resisting this Fairy type attack as the Ferrothorn barrier is revealed. Prox gets all that health back and ho -Oh able to clean this one up for Stu taking a quick and early 1-0 lead. So we will go into game two now. I'm gonna see Stu lead off once again with that Kyogre and Ludicolo lead and Pinko lead off with the Serena and Kyogre here. Both reigns activating from this drizzle ability on the Kyogre. Ice Beam coming out, turn one into the Serena. Do some nice damage with a double up into that slot and enough to take it down. Serena down here as we see a Thunder come out from Pinko's Kyogre into the Ludicolo. Gonna take it down to half health and get the Paralysis. Huge turn there for Pinko as the Lele now hits the field for Pinko getting that Psychic Terrain up and putting himself in a nice position going into this next one. Ferrothorn switching in, now for Stu for the Kyogre here. Just wanted to protect against any potential Thunders coming out from this slot. It does leave the Ludicolo open to throw out a Grass Knot potentially, but it is paralyzed here. That is so unfortunate for Stu. He is gonna get Thundered once again going into the next turn, which picks up the knockout here from that Kyogre. Taunt into that Ferrothorn, as we are gonna see. Just a Jarrah Ball this time. No Leech Seeds and take the knockout on that Tapu Lele. We are gonna see Xerneas hit the field once again for Pinko as Kyogre hits the field once again for Stu. We know Stu's Kyogre is scarfed. It's just going to throw out a water spout, get some big damage onto that Xerneas and a Thunder now coming out into the Ferrothorn slot from Pinko's side of the field as a Geomancy comes out from the Xerneas here and leaving this Ferrothorn, where is it going to target? Into the Kyogre potentially to stop the Thunders going into these next turns or into that Xerneas to really check that Geomancy boosted slot. So we're going to see the Power Whip into the Kyogre and that is game. So Stu taking that 2-0 as we go into our next one which is going to be Xenophist versus Urine. Urine on the top of the screen leading off here with the Xerneas and Tapu Fini and Xenophist leading off with Infernip and Kyogre a very favorite lead of mine from 2010 season. I 
top cut nationals that year with this lead, so a very favourite of mine. Good to see the Xerneas switch out for Urine. Groudon hit the field now, overwrite that rain on the field, bring the sun. I'm going to see a fake out just into that slot from the Infernip and a water spout come out, do some nice damage to the Groudon and do a tiny bit of chip to that Tapu Fini. Now Tapu Fini go on launch and Nature's Madness into the Kyogre, reduce its HP down to 50% and we are going to see it switch out now for the Tapu Koko. I'm going to come in and overwrite the terrain for Xenophist Ace as we see the Groudon switch out for Urine and Xerneas hit the field now. The sun is up so we've got to be careful about what this Infernip is going to do as we see Xenophist pull the trigger on this all out pummeling but with two fairies out on the field now it's not going to be doing much damage. Any damage onto Xerneas is always going to be good. Doing some decent damage actually for a resisted move but Urine undoing that all with a heal pulse now and really negating that Z move. Infernip now going to switch out. Sogaleo going to hit the field for Xenophist Ace. Really nice combination of Pokemon he's got with the Sogaleo Groudon here as we see a Volt Switch into that Tapu Fini. Not quite enough to pick up the knockout. Proc that Wiki Berry so it gets a majority of the health back. It's just lost there but Tapu Koko going to reposition with Infernip now coming back onto the field. We're going to see a light screen set up from this Tapu Fini but against a majority of physical type attack that's not going to be so useful in this match. We are going to see a Dazzling Gleam come out from the Xerneas. It does take a critical hit and take Infernip down to 18 HP with a Sunseal Strike now coming out from the Sogaleo. Going to pick up oh not quite the knockout but do enough damage you're going to see an encore now from the infernip into the xerneas it's going to lock it into dazzling gleam deny any geomancy boosts here as we see it pick up the knockout onto the infernip sunseal strike now coming out it's going to be into that slot you've got to imagine pick up the knockout but into the finny actually not quite enough to pick up the knockout there is a nature's madness is returned onto this sogala so going to down below 50 percent health with tapu Koko coming in now primed to start doing some really good damage here groudon coming back in for your Ryan as it does summon the sun onto the field once again. A Dazzling Gleam coming out from the Tapu Koko. Takes the Finny down and doing a nice bit of chip to the ground on revealing the Life Orb there and a Sunsteel Strike coming out from this Sogaleo. Should be enough to pick up the knockout onto the ground on, but it just survives. But the ground on now in a terrible position. Such low health with the Smeagol out on the field now. Pressuring that fake out this next turn as we see a double protect from Xenophist Days. Just to get through this fake out pressure and then start putting on a lot of pressure going into this next turn. Going to see the ground on now on your end side. He's going to pull the trigger on this tectonic rage and which lot is it going to be into it's going to be behind a protect so maybe Sogaleo can hang on barely can it no it cannot not enough health to get through this turn it is going to go down but paves the way now for the Kyogre to come back onto the field and start really putting the pressure back on for Xenophist Ace. Looking like he's going to be able to maybe take this one here. The rain set up overwriting that sun as Groudon now switches out for Urine. Xerneas is going to hit the field once again. We are going to see that Fairy Aura activate. Spiky Shield coming out from the Smeagol just wants to preserve itself for this next turn. Origin Pulse now coming out for the Kyogre. Going to hit into that Xerneas, pick up the knockout there and the Tapu Koko left to just throw out a Dazzling Gleam but blocked by that Spiky Shield. Smeagol getting a Moody Boost special attack boost and evasiveness falling not really that helpful as the Groudon comes in now gonna see that drought ability but we know that the Kyogre is scarfed on Xenophist's side of the field it only needs to hit an origin pulse and the Tapu Koko double in on that Smeagol slot to pick up the victory here so we are gonna see the the origin pulse hit the Smeagol and the Dazzling Gleam it is life orbed and it is enough and the Tapu Koko and Kyogre are in such a nice position to close this one up Origin Pulse coming out onto the Groudon and Xenophist Ace picking up game one here. Very nice played by Xenophist Ace. We're going into game two. We're going to see Urine lead off this turn with the Xerneas and Incineroar and Xenophist lead off with that Infernip Kyogre once again. We are going to see the Rain activate on the field. We've got both fake out pressure on both sides of the field here for both players. We're going to see the Xerneas switch out for Urine here as Groudon hits the field overwriting that Rain once again just disrupting the weather. Very good turn there for Urine as a faker comes out into that slot and and a water spout coming out from the Kyogre doing decent damage even in the sun and a snarl coming out from the Incineroar going to reduce the special attack on that Kyogre which is so important for Urine with that Groudon out on the field now going to draw the Groudon straight away and Xerneas now hit the field bringing it back into a position to start doing some damage but a water spout just coming out again from this Kyogre and an encore locking in this Incineroar into that snarl can't pivot out this turn if it was going for that going to get another snarl onto the Kyogre though so it is putting a lot of pressure 
on that slot. I'm going to see the Kyogre now switch out and Sogaleo hit the field. And then Cinero switch out now for the Tapu Fini. It's going to bring the Misty Terrain with it. Give its teammates a lot of protection against any sort of status moves. And another Phytinium all out pummeling coming from this Infernape. It's probably into what was the Incineroar slot here. But it is not going to be doing very much into this Tapu Fini. But again, any damage into Fini is good damage. Although that is very reduced damage. And a Geomancy coming out from this Xerneas now. Right, Urine in a nice position going into the next turn, especially after this one turn boost. It's going to be doing a lot of pressure, but got to worry about this Sogaleo. You need to get that Groudon out onto the field to start pressuring that Pokemon. We're going to see Protect from Xerneas here, and a Feint coming out from the in Inferno. This is a huge turn here, as he is going to be able to get this Sunseal Strike off with the Sogaleo into this slot through the Feint, and pick up the Knockout. Huge play there from Xenophis. Massive play as the Nature's Madness now coming out from the Tapu Fini into the Sogaleo, taking it down to half health, and you would think with that play he's pretty much locked up the game focus blast now coming out from the infernip not doing very much damage but doing enough chip potentially to put it in range for the sunsteel strike gotta pick up the knockout and it does and Xenophis has really just been able to seal up this game by these two big KOs he's just made. Incineroar now going to come back out onto the field, but in front of one fighting type and one Pokemon that carries a fighting type attack. Not looking too good right now. We're going to see an Encore into the Tapu Fini. He's going to be locked into that Heal Pulse and will be going into the Incineroar, putting back to full health. But now, like I say, with the close combat and things locked up on that side of the field it's going to be very difficult and we do see the forfeit so Xenophis taking a 2-0 win there massive massive game for him and really nice to see him get off to a great start in this tournament so we are now going to go into the results of this week these are all the games that we've had to feature this week unfortunately there's been a few delays with a few of the matches and some of the players have requested that some of the games aren't to be featured because of tournaments they are attending and we do respect that within the circuit so you can see on your screen in front of you now are the results. You've got Tectic taking a 2-0 win over Johnny. One of the games that we didn't feature was Will versus Pokemarty. Will taking a 2-1 win in that match. Krim and Bebum are still to play. We've got Stu 2-0 versus Pinko that we featured today. Urine losing 2-0 to Xenophist. It's in our last match of this episode. Pulling out a huge win in some nice plays there. Really showcasing that Infernip in those matches. We had Imagi lose 2-1 to Shade. Unfortunately, that was one of the matches that we weren't able to feature this week hopefully in coming weeks we might be able to feature that one and then the outstanding games of this round are Alex versus Worm's Eye and Purple versus Luigi which we will have featured at some point in the future when those games get complete so they are the results from this week and let's have a look now at what changes it makes to the leaderboard so you can see the leaderboard here Stu is sitting happy on top on 19 points here with a win difference of eight just creeping ahead of shade now so both players tied for that first spot you've got luigi in third place on 16 will on 15 points in fourth place fifth place you've got pinko sixth worm's eye and magi on seventh place hectic in eighth johnny in ninth crim in 10th alex in 11th pokemon in 12th yoran in 13th Xenophist ace in 14th purple in 15th and then bevum down in 16th so they are the leaderboards and that is all of the goals for this week so here we are guys it's been an incredible episode so it's a little bit of a shorter one this week but we haven't got that many games to feature but we'll be back very soon with round eight and feature all of the games from there and we'll have a lot more content going into this one i hope you've enjoyed today's episode it's been a really good one to see and i mean xenophist's game at the end there was just incredible to watch that old call that i used and piloted in 2010 to a third place finish at the uk nationals really gives me like really fond memories so a really nice call and combination to see in that match and a big prop to him to get off to a great start with that first win of the season so hopefully that continues going into the following weeks really massive congratulations to all our players once again and uh, we'll end it up there guys so whatever you're doing have a great day take care of yourselves and we'll see you for the next one very soon so until then take care and bye bye